Welcome to Project 2 Arrow, where I'm building a RANS S21 right here in my garage. Feel free to sub to the channel if that interests you, so you can monitor the progress as we go along. In this video, we'll wrap up the last of the tail surfaces, so if you missed any of the previous videos, go catch up on those. But before we jump into that, I thought I'd share a few clips of my son's project. It's pretty cool to see him inspired by what we're doing here, and also taking the initiative to make something from nothing. He used just some scrap lumber laying over in the corner of the garage and decided to build his own airplane. It's also fun to see him learning how to use the tools that are in this garage. So with the elevator frame all cleaned up and inspected, it was time to start putting on the hinges. I started with the forward hinges, the ones that mount to the horizontal stabilizer. These were pretty easy, it was exactly the same as the rudder. And then we bent the leading edge skins. When I did the rudder, I used some PVC, but I didn't like how flexible it was. I found a tube in Home Depot that's intended to be used for a closet rod, but it worked really well, and I would recommend that over PVC any day. After that, I installed the skins on the top side of the elevator. and then moved into my first deviation from the plants. And while it may seem like a minor deviation, any modification to the configuration in which this aircraft was designed and tested in means that you no longer can assume that your assembly will perform as intended. So only do so with caution. Think about and know exactly what those changes will affect in the final product. The plans have you drill a couple number 40 holes in the aft spar in order to secure the hinge pin for the trim tabs. I've seen builders do this a million different ways, but I chose to take one lobe of the leftover hinge stock and create a little tab that I can secure with a screw and a nut plate to the aft spar. In the end, I think that turned out super clean. Let me know what you think. And this is when I noticed that I should have left out the very outboard edge of rivets on the skins. The tip skins pick up most of those holes when you install them. The plans do mention it, but I just must have overlooked it. I was sure happy that I didn't have all the skins installed. One side still gave me full access to the inside. I did notice that the plans show the rivets going through the tip skin before going into the main skin, suggesting that these tip skins go on top of the other skins. But while looking through the build photos on Rans.com, I noticed that they had the skins underneath the main skins. I chose to go this route since the other holes seemed to line up better this way anyways. So after getting all those holes drilled and prepped, I then drilled the hole in the tip skins that will allow access later to add weight and balance the elevator. I then installed the skins fully, including the tip skins. I did read that the epoxy could migrate aft while curing up if you don't leave the elevator tilted down so I added a little RTV to all the holes in order to prevent this from happening when it comes time to balance this elevator. I hope you enjoyed this one. I'm a bit outside my comfort zone, but I thought I'd push myself a little bit. I look forward to starting the tail cone and the fuselage in the near future. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you got something out of this. And feel free to let me know how I'm doing in the comments. Thanks for watching.